Hello everybody, in this video we're going to look at booleans. Alright, let's get going. So previously we had learned about types, and we learned about integers, floats, strings. And these are things that are probably familiar to you already from math or English. The next type we're going to learn about is something called the boolean. And the boolean you might not have seen in math or English. And all that means is that something can be only true or false. Again, this will probably be new to you, but it's some data that can only be true or false. Well, how do we know something's true or false? Do we know because the gods tell us it's so? No. What we do is we use something called comparison operators. And so with comparison operators, we can tell if something's true or false. Comparison operators in Python are equals to, greater than, less than, not equal to, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. All right, so now we're going to see Booleans live in action. I'm going to make a variable with a value of true. It's going to be the Boolean true with a capital T. Then I'll print out that variable, that variable's value, which shows true. And if I print out the type of that variable, it's going to show that it's a Boolean. So that's a simple Boolean. Next, I'm going to show some comparisons. Hopefully these will be familiar from math. Then I'll print out the results. Is 5 equal to 5? That's true. 5 equal to 6? That's false. 5 is greater than 6? That's false. 5 is less than 6? That's true. 5 is not equal to 6? That's true. So those are the six comparison operators that we have in Python. Next, I'll show an example of comparing strings. So I have a string name. So I have a variable name equals to string Dr. Wu. And in line five, I'm going to print this variable name equals. Is it equal to Dr. Wu? And it is. All right, so now let's look at the common mistakes. In this first example here, I have a variable works, and I set it equal to the Boolean true. And when I print it out, it's happy. I have a second variable, doesn't work, and I set that equal to true with a lowercase. And you see here it's got the red underline that gives you a hint that it's not working. And that's because it doesn't work. In Python, the Booleans need to be capitalized. True or false need to be capitalized. The lowercase true is a variable name. And that error right here that you get, name error, that's an error you get when the variable isn't defined. The second type of error has to do with equal signs. When we set variable values, we go variable is equal to a value. And that's what I've done here in line one. Name is equal to Dr. Wu in quotation marks. When I compare them, the comparison needs to be two equal signs. I'm printing out name is equal to Dr. Wu. That's wrong. It needs to be name equals to equals Dr. Wu. This is a super common mistake. I can guarantee you're going to make it. Heck, I make it sometimes. And that's okay. You just want to recognize that this is a mistake that people make and try to make it as few times as possible. The third thing that people do is to forget that types matter. So in this example here, I'm setting number is equal to input. Give me a number. Remember now, it's coming out of input. So what type is number? Number is a string. Number is a string because it comes out of input. When I compare in line two, string number is equal to five, integer five, that is not going to be true. That is going to be false because string five is not equal to integer five. So don't forget the types. For something to be equal to something else, the types need to be the same also. All right, here's where I go over the lab solutions. Pause the video and try it out. They're not too bad. I'm pretty sure you can solve it. So on this first one, we're looking for you to print a Boolean expression that evaluates the true. So I've given you some starter code here. You could modify this if you want to or, total, or totally change it. I'll just modify it. I'll say orange, string orange is equal to string orange. I'll run it. It's true. And I'm good. I could have instead changed it totally. 4 equals to 4. That's also true. Up to you. Next one, booleans 2. Wants me to print a Boolean expression that evaluates the false. Here's a starter code here. I can change it as I like. So orange is equal to orange. That's true. So if I want to make that false, I just have to change it to anything else. Orange is equal to banana. That is not true. So that is false, and that works. On to booleans 3. So it wants something that evaluates the false, but it only wants me to change the comparison operator. So the comparison operator is what's in the center. So equal, equal. So right now we have orange is equal, equal to orange. That is true. So to change that to make that false, I'm going to change this to the not equal to, which is exclamation equal. So orange is not equal to orange. That is false. And that's good. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.